Uh, Scott Russell, I work for the CBC. I'm the primetime host of the Olympic Games uh, on CBC, and I, I have been for a number of years. I've been the host for the uh, Olympic Games in, in Beijing, uh, again in Sochi, Russia, in Rio de Janeiro, uh, in Pyeongchang, and uh, on into uh, Beijing. My very best wishes to you. Enjoy the day. I, I think, uh, understandably, in the lead up to the Beijing Games, the media coverage has been centered around the pandemic and how athletes and how organizers are going to deal with the pandemic in Beijing. That's, that's very understandable. And certainly, this is one of the controversies that affects these games. I personally don't think that boycotts have worked in the past. And uh, I think that many people in the international sporting community would agree with that. The people that pay the price for a boycott are the athletes themselves. This is their life's work to get to the Olympic Games and to compete. And boycotts are never driven by the athletes. They're always driven by politicians or by uh, external interests. Um, so, you know, the boycott didn't work in 1980 uh, for the games in Moscow. Um, the Soviet invasion of Afghanistan was not curtailed because of the boycott. Uh, I don't think the boycott uh, of the Soviet Union uh, that they applied uh, to the 1984 games in Los Angeles did really much of anything to reduce the grandeur of those games. And as I say, I think it's always the athletes that pay the price for a boycott. Neither the American people nor I will support sending an Olympic team to Moscow. I, I have to say that uh, the games in 2008, when I was there, uh, were the most colossal games I've ever seen. Uh, the grandeur was unmistakable. Um, the spectacle was over the top. I enjoyed my time in Beijing. I visited Tiananmen Square, uh, the Forbidden City. I've been to Shanghai uh, for world championships in figure skating and in aquatics. And uh, every experience that I have had in China has been exceptional. The ideal of the Olympic Games is to bring the world together in a time of peace, to welcome people of every race, faith, uh, gender, orientation, and ability into one place at one time to demonstrate what is humanly possible. The aim and the ideal is pure. To become an Olympic athlete is a one in 10 million chance. There are very few Olympians who have ever been. Uh, and to uh, achieve that goal requires commitment, it requires uh, an obsession, uh, it requires a life's work. And so they put so much into getting to the Olympic Games that that, that goal cannot be questioned. That's what they are about. You know, athletes have never been as empowered as they are now. They've never been as socially conscious as they are now but their main purpose in life is to compete in sport and demonstrate what is humanly possible on the field of play. That's what Olympians are about. And so every time I go into an Olympic stadium and I see the gathering uh, of, of all those people from around the world in a time of peace, in an effort to bring the world together, it brings tears to my eyes.